the ball's forward, you need to preset your lower body's weight just a smidge more forward to create a side tilt to the right from the front. Then from down the line, you would start putting your right shoulder back more, flexing your right forearm. You could start raising the handle up a little bit, so the left's above the right. Those would be the first couple checkpoints to get the club to come down more in and shallow out the angle of attack. Dude, what, That'd be where I would set up with, or start with. Yeah, exactly. Why, why don't you hit one for us, just first with that, yep. and then I want to dig into the details of some of those pieces before we go on. Yeah. So I, I don't go, know if you warmed up at all, but we'll yeah, just we're, 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 <laughs> bunt we're, one out. We're good enough. <laughs> so we'd have the a touch more rightward tilt, yep. close the shoulders, handle high, uh, right forearms down, and from here, this is going to help make the angle of approach come more into out. Yeah, nice little A little draw. bit of a pull, but it curved to the left, which was the goal. Yeah. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by our friends at Pinned Golf. In my hand here, I have their new Ace Rangefinder. It's the third model that they've come out with, and it's the absolute best one yet. It's a features packed golf rangefinder that offers everything from slope a slope switch that makes it 100% tournament legal, a USB charger so you don't have to buy any of the weird batteries, a crystal clear HD LCD screen, tour level accuracy, and much more. Guys, you hear me talk all the time about feedback. You need video feedback when you're practicing. You need yardage feedback when you're playing. And the Pin Golf Ace Rangefinder to me is absolutely the best quality and price of a rangefinder that's on the market. I used to pay twice the amount for a rangefinder that worked no better than this one did. And it's something that I think is non negotiable in all my students' hands. The Pinned Rangefinder. Use promo code Cogorno, C O G O R N O, and save $25 off. We'll put the link down below. All right, guys, Eric here outside at the Bethlehem Golf Club. In today's video, much anticipated, how to draw the driver. I'd say one of the main requests we get uh, coaching together online uh, at cogornogolf.com is how do I draw my driver, or yep. at least how do I fade it less, yep. right? One of those two. Um, so here to my left, Mr. Steve Siraki. If you haven't seen our videos before, Steve, one of the best golf coaches in the world. He's a Golf Digest Best Young Teacher, Best in State, New Jersey. Um, awesome, awesome coach. And in today's video, we're going to talk about drawing the driver. Yep. Let's go ahead and do our little flip-flop. And so, like I said, one of the main things that we hear, I would say, like, I want to be more consistent day to day. Yep. Right, hit the ball more solid. And then I'd say top three is, like, I'd like to fade less or draw or more. Shallow. How do I get the club more inside? Yes, yes. More from the inner shallow. and. So let's, Steve, pretend that we've got someone who comes in, right? Yeah. And we're like, let's go through the whole shebang. Yeah. Hey, Steve, talk to me, man. Like, I want to draw my driver. I'm fading it too much. What are the things I should be looking for I can put in at the setup? Yeah. Maybe a couple backs and a couple follow through simple. Yeah, points. That, that's a good point, really, with the setup is because the ball position with the driver is more forward than an iron. And what typically happens, we see it all the time, I see it in the lesson T, and then we see it in our videos we get, is they get to this driver with this forward ball position, and to get to the ball, they start opening their shoulders, mm. moving their head forward, and they get the right forearm above the left, and they're already set up to hit too much down and across at the setup because the ball's forward. And dude, I would say 90%. Yeah, and the tilt's off from the front view, so, I would say the, the first thing, you know, that we see common, if we're going down a tree, like what are the first things we see, it'd be, I would say with the setup, is hmm. that they don't have their shoulders closed enough, they don't have the handle high enough or their forearm down. And we say it all the time, Bryson, I, yes. watching him set up to the driver, it's just like, it's gonna draw and it's gonna go 400 yards. Right. You can just already <laughs> see it, how he's like got that thing like locked in. It's like right out of our playbook. Beautiful model. How he does it. So I would start to say, all right, the ball's forward, you need to preset your lower body's weight just a smidge more forward to create a side tilt to the right from the front. Then from down the line, you would start putting your right shoulder back more, flexing your right forearm. You could start raising the handle up a little bit, so the left's above the right. Those would, those would be the first couple checkpoints to get the club to come down more in and shallow out the angle of attack. Dude, what, That'd be where I would set up with, or start with. Yeah, exactly. Why, why don't you hit one for us, just first with that, yep. and then I want to dig into the details of some of those pieces before we go on. Yeah. So I, would I don't go, know if you warmed up at all, but we'll yeah, just we're, 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 <laughs> bunt one out. We're good enough. <laughs> so we'd have the a touch more rightward tilt, yeah. close the shoulders, handle high, uh, right forearms down, and then from here, this is going to help make the angle of approach come more into out. Yeah, nice little A little draw. bit of a pull, but it curved to the left, which was the goal. Yeah. I think we would we would take that every time. Yeah, well, yeah. We know that we knew that setting up like that the ball was not going to go to the right. 
So let's dig into some of these uh, details. If you go through your setup one more time here. Yep. So ball position. Yep. If we're looking at it from the face on angle, if we were kind of to go straight up from here, what, what are you looking at as like a stock? It would say it would be just behind the left shoulder on the armpit. Perfect. Would be like a, a stock uh, ball position. We don't, so the more forward the ball goes, if we got like at or outside the shoulder, less draw. Yes. All else equal. Yeah. So we're looking for maybe armpit territory. Yep. yep. And then the hip center, yep. if you were to look at like the belt line maybe, yep. just forward of center of the feet, I would say that it would you would have the lower body just a little bit ahead of the shoulders. A perfect. You'd okay. have the lower center just a little bit ahead of the, of the shoulders, and that's going to start tilting the spine to the right a little bit um, from the front view. So if we let's do that one more time, Steve. Yep. So if we look at let's say belt buckle shirt buttons. Yeah. Your shirt buttons, if you're looking at yourself on camera, should be slightly more to the right. Correct. Relative to the belt line. Correct. And then when you do that, that naturally presets a little bit of a, a tilt right to the shoulders. Correct. Right. Yep. And then handle location. The so handle would be, we, we want it to be just, you know, even, but if we're just talking about drawing, we want the handle to be more forward and more upward S at the setup. Say that one more time. We want the handle to be forward and upward yeah. at the setup. We want the handle to be forward and, and up. up at the setup for more draw. We did a video with Travis Fulton and he had a saying, Mary, that I, I can't think of, but it was essentially like the uh, ball position being forward and the shoulders being open. Yep. Like huge, huge, huge issue. Yeah. So let, I just want to hit on that quickly before we go on anything else is like, I got done saying before, 90% of the people that I see who fade it too much, draw it too little, do not get that one part right. So like, let's, let's take your step one more time. Yeah. If someone's too open with the shoulders, right arm too high, what are they feeling? They're feeling the shoulder get pulled back. Yeah, pushed back behind them push backwards behind them yep. and they're going to feel like their right arm would be down more so the left is above it. They might feel like really twisted like their shoulders are aimed way to the right. It's what it might feel like. Yes. But in reality it's really only like five degrees closed. And I bet their trail arm is going to feel way bent and under compared to normal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, if you set up real yeah. quick for one, like on the, on the lesson tee, we you would do it correct. Yeah. But we would get in here and then crank it. Like we would twist them like this, keep the club where it is. And yeah. we, that's what it would feel like. That's the feel. We're doing it crazy. Yeah, exactly. For the draw. And you see that also would help raise the handle up as well. That's going to make the angle of approach go way more into out. Because yeah, I think doing that and doing it enough yes. for a lot of people is so important. Yep. So let's hop back in there, Steve. So the setup piece is, why don't we hit one more with those just so they can yeah. see. Sure. So the lower center is just a touch forward. Yeah. Uh, right shoulders back, right arms below the left, handles forward and upwards more. So this is presetting the angle approach in now, and then we hit it. There we go. Yep. Perfect. High draw. So let's say we have those pieces in there, right? Yep. Which like, put, make sure you have those first. Yep. And then someone has that, and the ball is still not drawn. Yep. Well, let me ask you this way. If you did that with someone, they actually got those correct. Are you looking at like, I mean, at least 80% of the time they're drawing it right away from that. It's helping. Okay. It's helping at least get the swing direction to go more to the Step right. Step one. Yeah. Okay. So let's say we have those in there. Then what are the next pieces we're looking at maybe during, let's say, the back swing? Yeah, I would make sure that the hands and the arms go round enough and that the face is closed enough. Yeah. Those would be like the step two. And so if we take your setup here a second, Steve, I would say a lot of the members that we have on the site, let's just look at like P2 just for a sec. Yeah. In this initial phase, even just something as simple as checking the toe relative to the heel here yep. compared to the shaft. Yep. I would say the players that draw it the best here, we see the toe slightly in front of the heel, mm -hmm. um, which keeping the face slightly close to the path. The players who fade it the most would be toe behind the heel. Yep. So again, sort of layering on these pieces outside of the setup being good, a lot of a lot of that would be off. Yeah. Start by keeping the face pointed down to the ground, like yeah. you said, toe ahead of the heel, and then making sure the hands and the arms keep moving around the body. Why don't we flip flop for a sec and let me let, let let's say I'm someone who needs a little bit of help with those. Yeah. And we're just going to start working on. Let's say I get some of the setup pieces correct. So the ball position, shirt buttons behind the belt line. Yeah. Trail shoulder feels back. Yep. And 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 lower a little for me. Yep and the right arm's below the left. Right arm's below the left. My handle feels high. It feels like the butt of the club's more like stomach yep. compared to like yep. below my, my belt buckle, for example. And the, and the rising up of the handle are, are, starts helping to close the face because it starts flattening the wrist more at the setup. I thought we were saving that secret till later, but okay, yeah. we'll throw that in there. Yep. And then now let's say, let, let's, let me just hit one like this, Steve, yeah. actually. Because it's a little more draw bias than I 
would normally go, but I like this. Yeah. Yep. That was just kind of pushy for me. Yeah, but it's got draw characteristics in it. There's no cut on that ball, just a big push. Yeah, exactly. Now, let's say from here, I'm struggling with the backswing pieces. Yep. So I need to have a little bit more toe in front of the heel mm -hmm. and maybe a little bit more depth. Yep. Let's kind of talk through what, what are some of the feels that I can give for that too. So here's my setup pieces. So we could we would put something through the shoulder right here and have them swing underneath of it. Yep. That would help keep their arm and their hands around them. And so then, would, yeah, we'll do that one more time. Yeah. So I'd hold a club here or a shaft. You'd swing it around you. Your hands and arms go around you under this. And as you're doing that, the, the face would feel just a little bit more closed at the top. Twisting the face closed a little bit. Correct. So, so you get the hit, setup pieces? Yeah, if you just wanted to punch one of these out, yep. just knock it out there, it'd be in. There's a draw. Yeah, it's solid. Yep. Yeah, that'd be a nice shot to have off the tee, huh? Yeah. So, so I think the sensations for a lot of us there will be the arms feel lower. Yes. And I feel like I'm twisting my knuckles away from my forearm, glove towards the camera, toe more in or, front of the heel. Yeah, face pointed towards the camera. Or yeah. started, like you said earlier, at, at P2, it starts to point down more. Arms lower, twisting the face a bit. Correct. So I got my setup pieces, handle up, arm low. I think that's so huge, shoulder back for a lot of players. Yeah, it feels like you're pushing it that way. Yeah. I feel the arms lower, twisting the face a bit. Correct. Let's do one more like that, then we'll kind of dig into the follow through. Correct, yeah, sounds good. Okay, so handle up, shoulder back, arm under. I feel my arms lower, twisting the face a little bit. Yep. Yeah, it's kind push of like push. With yep. a tiny draw. So let's say that, let's flip flop one more time, Steve. Yeah. Let's say that the player's getting those pieces in. Yep. And maybe the ball's still, right? Mm -hmm. Still not drawing. What would you look for through the ball and into the follow throw? That coming through, that the shaft would keep rising. We want to have the shaft rising more through the ball so the path would go out more. And as it's rising, we want to have the face continue to keep closing, yeah. coming through. So you basically would, you could build like a gate. You would have something here on your right shoulder to swing underneath of, and then we could take an alignment stick and put that in the front so it would rise above yeah. it. So you'd go under the stick, under the shoulder, and then above this one coming through. You'd maybe have it somewhere like this. You'd move it a little closer, but like, yeah, right there. Yep. Yep. So I'm not going to hit, but if, if I was going to hit, well, I wouldn't hit you. We'd come through the ball, you'd have the shaft rising, and as the shaft's rising, we'd also introduce a little bit more bowing yes. of the wrist to keep turning the face down coming through the ball. And that, that for me is my favorite feel, like if I want to curve it more, yeah. is, is the rising of the shaft with a little bit more of the bowing, the unhinging. Yep. And I think for a lot of players, that's an easy first thing. Yes, Something at and pass impact into the follow through. Mm -hmm. So why don't we do one or two where we're kind of going through the feel of that and hit one Yeah, like so we, we could just start out by just by punching them. You could just get your setup right, right? Do your setup right. We yep. have our ball, we have the handle forward and up, shoulders closed. If you wanted to, too, you could start introducing some of that ulnar and palmar flex into the, into the wrist at the setup. See, that's twisting the face down. Yeah. And that sensation you'd have, you just carry through the ball and just punch it. See, it had a nice little tiny draw yeah. on it. And the shaft was rising coming through the ball. Shaft rising. So put, putting the plane stick in, yep. feeling the shaft angle rising relative even where it is at setup. Yes. Yeah. Um, and a little bit of the twisting of the face. Yeah, so you see I just punched that ball, probably went on 150 yards or so. Yeah. But just doing the principles of getting the feel, that's going to make the ball start curving to the left. I just want to do one more. And, it, and it's going to take the spin off the ball. I just want you to do one more, if you would, with the follow through pieces. Punch Maybe, it again? Yeah, go a little longer. Okay. But just kind of like the rehearsal, what you're feeling. So like th this angle here, let's say you have the setup set. Yep. And this is the angle the shaft's on. Yep. Go ahead and feel the ri the rising of the shaft. So we go up. Yeah, so that, see how that guy's from the down the line angle is more vertical. It's raising, yeah, coming yeah. through. Good. Where the other player, the the slicer, when they hit, they would lower the shaft. Yeah. Lower the shaft, have like a low exit. Love it. Hitting across. So I'll just I'll do the same thing. Hit a little harder. Yep. Just punch it, doing that that um that follow through, so the ball curves to the left. Yeah, beautiful. Like a draw machine, Steve. Yeah, we'll draw. <laughs> so 
I think that's pretty good for the draw. You have anything else? I think that those, that covers No, I, I think if you do those three things, it's going to really help you go in the right direction. I would say those are the biggest things that we see online and I see in person all the time. It's huge. And, and whether it's like you want to actually draw the driver or just you slice it 30 yards and you want to slice it only 15, right? It could just be all those things. It well, could just be fade less. And this helps uh, shallow out your angle of attack. It helps everything. It does. Right? So I think it's so important to start with those setup pieces. Mm -hmm. I know I said that a bunch of times, but it's just so critical because it's easy to overlook that. It seems like that's too easy of a solution a lot of times, and it's not too easy of a solution. No. That is what needs to be done. So draw the driver. Yeah. That was beautiful. Guys, if you like this, we're going to put another card on the screen. Similar draw video Steve and I did, kind of more on these basis. You want to send your swings in uh, to Steve and I. We'll put a card for Cogorno Golf. We'd love to see you there. Perfect.